It seems like you like to play warriors. Uh, I like noble knights specifically. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a king archer. I actually spent like an hour on the drive over here explaining uh, Arthurian legend to my buddy over there. Well, Maybe not. Not the Knights of the Round Table. Yep. You would think Knights of the Round Table in this game would be busted. They just need that little bit of extra support, honestly, to be decent. I would they say need more it, speed. Yeah. They need more speed is what they need. What would have been in amazing a, in a higher if, uh, power ceiling. If Brothers hadn't Xeno locked, it would be a lot better. It would be abused as a fucking uh, link engine, absolutely, but... Hell yeah! Go for it, why not? Summoning two extra Noble Knights? Fuck But it's in a lot. This is where you activate Kyo to Waterfront and do more links. going on YouTube fam, this is your boy J Money here and I'm bringing you guys that combo tutorial as I promised, it's going to be three separate combos, first combo being just simplified game state, second combo being if you, you know, just have an additional tutor extender, and the third one being if your opponent has no hand traps and you're just able to just go nuts, so same build as the deck profile, no bricks, you know, well minimal, minimal bricks, you know, no 001, no Colt Wing, those cards are good, like on paper, but in an actual match where you're getting hand trapped and you want to drop God Phoenix Gear Freed on the board, ASAP, and you're going to have a Synchro on the board before you make Roar on and stuff. Like, you're going to find those situations, you know, some of, like, you're going to have to sacrifice things. So, you use some of three tokens with Roar on, but you have two monsters, you can't bring back zeros or one. Same thing for when you summon Colt Wing, because Colt Wing is a monster itself, plus two tokens, that's still three. Uh, plus zero zero one, you just require so much space, and it just it, it really kind of gets it kind of like battles itself a little bit when it comes to a you know an actual game. So, with that being said, I want to go ahead and um, let's get started with these combos. All righty, guys, here we are in the laboratory. So, here we go. Um, this is combo number one being simplified game state. So, you know, your opponent hand traps you all over the place. Let's say, you know, your um, Durandal gets ashed, your connector gets impermed, you know, and stuff like that. So you're getting hand trapped all over the place, but, you know, you follow my advice, you know, you, you know, consistently can put four bodies on the board, you know, so you can make the old anyway. You know, let's say you do make the first old and it gets like Gamma and you can summon another monster, two more, and you can make it old again. And all that. So now you're in a simplified game state to where you all you can do is make a Zold. Well, what can you do? Well, I'm going to show you. Connector's going to hit the field. You're going to summon Dolphin. Again, this is, you know, we're not doing any, like, hand loops or anything just yet. Again, this is just, you know, simplified game state. Now, again, these can be any two warriors. Just simplified game state to be able to, you know, you push through everything. And now you can combo. But you don't really have much left. So... You know, what can you do at this point? I mean, yeah, we we're, we can do things, man. So, we'll Zold. We don't really need to search or anything. So, we'll go ahead and send um, four. This time, we'll send Smoke Grenade, Phoenix Blade, Drindol, and Living Fossil. Four, you know, as we send in the deck profile, we go into Oliver a lot now. Oliver, get your plays going. So... Um, let's go ahead and get started with uh, some simple combo. Again, a lot of this stuff is probably not new to you guys. You probably guys probably already know these combos already, but just in case, uh, for those who don't, or in case I'm doing a different variation of it, um, you know, I'm just doing it anyway. So we'll go and seek for five. The tokens are level one, and we'll make Captain Roland. Of course, we're going to use the effect on the end phase to foolish and add. Uh, now from here, we will go ahead and make our Chris Raw Needle Fiber. We love this card. You know, this card, we've been waiting, like, what, two and a half years for this card? We're going to use it as much as possible. So, we're going to use our Needle Fiber effect. And we'll summon our Plague Spreader Zombie. And, uh, yeah. We're going to go Martial Metal Marcher. 
And you would think we bring back Captain Roland, but no, we're actually going to bring back the Oliver. As I said in the deck profile, there are a lot of interactions that come up with Oliver now, and this is one of them. Two machines, you know, one of is a link, two equals Aurora Dawn. Aurora Dawn is going to activate Summon Arsenal's three tokens. You got a level four tuner and a level three non tuner. Three plus four equals seven. And that seven is Power Tool Dragon. Sweet stuff, guys. Sweet stuff. All right. Now we're going to use Power Tool Dragon's effects, revealing three DDRs and adding one of them to the hand. Like so. All right. Now, um, we're going to go and use our Phoenix Blades effect. We will banish our Captain Roland and our Isold. Grab Phoenix Blade to the hand. Uh, activating DDR, discard Phoenix Blade, summon back Captain Roland. Uh, we will, you can either Synchro into an Omega, or you can make Hero of the Arclight. Um, again, uh, I feel like you do want at least one negate, so we're actually going to use the War Dawn's effect, and we'll tribute himself, and the, uh, uh, Captain Roland, and you're gonna summon your Warbland, your level one tuner, and you're going to synchro those two into Herald of the Arc Light. So there you have uh, your negate on board. I would have made Omega again; it's safe. It, it gets itself out of danger, but you still need a negate. You're gonna look at your opponent's hand anyway, especially since you're in a simplified game state. Because again, your opponent hand trapped you to death. Um, the Hero of the Arc Light is a lot more high impact in this scenario. I mean, you could go into Omega and rip more cards out of your opponent's hand. I mean, maybe. That probably would have been the thing I would have done. But we're going to go in Phoenix Blade again. And we'll banish the Connector and the Dolphin. Doesn't really matter. You do want to keep the Oliver and the Roland in the Graveyard. And you're going to top that to Phoenix Blade for Plague Spreader Zombie. Plague Spreader Zombie is banished. And Power Tool is synchroed off into our Charles. So we have Herald of the Arclight and Charles uh, via simplified game state. Um, that's that's all right, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, and proceed to the end phase. You're gonna foolish, probably another DDR, since you're not really gonna bring back power tool at this point, but DDR is still like really good. Um, honestly, Oh, Foolish Dorindal, you have three heritages of the Chalices, it's fine. Like, it really doesn't matter at this point. You're just gonna... I think at this point, to seal the deal again is Simplify Game State, so... Simplify Game State, God Phoenix Gear Free is really good. I would add Renaud, but... God Phoenix Gear Free too strong. Um, oh, actually... The... Equip Oliver... I always forget this. Equip Oliver first, so you can then... Use Charles' effect... And equip these two. But really, equipping OGR isn't like it almost never comes up, really, because the non targeting aspect is still the better of the two. And you have the negate anyway, and stuff like that. Just like, but you, it's, it doesn't hurt. You just want extra equips, even, you know, just in case you have Godfrey and Skifford anyway. Use Charles, pop a card, rip a card from your opponent's hand, banish it if it's a monster, because Hero of the Arc Light. And you're Gucci. You are golden. Just like that. So that's combo number one. Now let's head on to combo number two. Alrighty, boys. Combo number two. Let's say you have red layer in your hand, but you don't summon it because you want to summon connectors so you can guarantee your opponent ash it so you can drop an extender and make, you know, your old and stuff anyway. But look, you got uh, access to a level one tuner still. We didn't choose Renaud because Renaud is just, like, really good and all that, so... Yeah, like, we're just choosing the lesser of the two, so... If you do have Renaud, you can do this still, and you'll have even better, uh, better results here in board, so... You know, we're assuming that you're gonna have the worst of the two, because you... People, we always open Oliver, so... You know, again, like, let's say we did open Red Layer, but we don't do it, so we can guarantee Ash gets out of the hand, and we drop our Flint Lady. What, what can happen? What is one additional tuner going to do? You know, what's what difference will it make? Well, let's see. We'll make our Zold. 
And we'll use our Zolt effect and we'll actually search. We'll search our Gilla Glancer. So our opponent was unlucky and they opened one hand trap. And he got baited out uh, because we have Connector because we're a good player. Alright, now we're going to use a Zold and we're going to Foolish 4 once again. And we're going to summon the same monster being Oliver because Oliver is really good. And it is typically what you're going to summon more times than not. Uh, send these four. There you go. Oliver hits the field. Okay. Alright. Good, good. Alright, let's go and make our link cross. For two tokens. Uh, number one, number two. We're going to synchro into a different monster. We're going to synchro for five still, but we are going to synchro into our TG Hyper Librarian. So, you know, you can get crazy stuff going and all that stuff. It, it's fine. All right. Now, here's the part where the tutor comes in. Uh, because you're just going to make needle fiber with it. So, let's go ahead and banish our connector. And, well, yeah, we'll banish connector and his ult because we're smart. Um, you know, keep the fire just in case you have a stealth phone and all that. And Phoenix split your hand. Now, you're going to reveal Oliver. And you're going to send it. To the grave, and you're going to summon the Oliver, and you're going to make Needle Fiber. The reason why we summon TG is because in this particular situation, you need a non-tuner. So Needle Fiber is going to go and summon our Plague Spreader Zombie, as it did before. There it is. We're going to go Sync Row for three, and you would think we're going to make Metal Marcher, but no, we're going to make Tatanoko. And TG is going to draw. If we draw into a DDR, we're going to put it back and draw another card. Uh, so TG is going to draw us a card. And we drew, you know, just, we're not going to activate it. We're going to assume it's like a blank, like an Eagle Booster or something. So, we're going to use Satsunoko and Synchro with the Gilla Galancer. And to a Formula Sync. Whoa, no, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. Charles. My bad, guys. TG Librarian is going to draw. Hey, look, we drew a brick. We drew Gemma. That doesn't matter. Um, but, you know, if we, you know, decide to DDR, you know, the Fleet Lady and, you know, Cherubute and summon it to the, from the hand and do other stuff, you can do that. Crazy stuff all the time, guys. Um, if you want, you can go and just top deck your bricks. Plague Spurter Zombie. You drew two cards, so it's not the... It's okay. It's okay. Power Tool Dragon, guys. Power Tool. Reveal three DDR. You know, I've already shown that I have three, so we're just going to add DDR to the hand. Okay. Since Power Tool's a machine, along with Neofiber, look, Rordon. Nice. Nicely done. Uh, Rordon's going to summon us three tokens. One, two, three. So we got four spots filled up. We got one more left over. Uh, from here, we're going to go and use Phoenix Blade uh, once again. Banish Gilda Lancer and then Oliver. Add this to the hand, activating DDR, discarding our Phoenix Blade to summon our Plague Spreader Zombie. Uh, Synchro for five. We'll make our Captain Roland use this effect on the end phase and all that uh, greatness. Uh, this is in the graveyard. And uh, yeah, now we can go and top deck a card. Uh, the card we drew, I guess, you can do that. Plague Spreader. Um, now you're going to use Aurorodon's effect and tribute the Plague Spreader. So this is Banished and the Aurorodon itself for the Mecha Phantom Beast. Level 1. Uh, Synchro for 4. Make Hero the Arclight. And Synchro for 8. Into our Cypher and Lord Omega because we already have a negate. Again, just in case your opponent's able to play, you want to keep, you know, a monster that's roughly a beat stick away from danger and still rip a card so you rip the card from your opponent's hand you're going to use Oliver's effect on the graveyard equipped to Captain Roland you go and proceed to end phase you know again add golf Phoenix gear freed for simplified game state purposes uh, foolishing you know Durandal whatever at this use Roland and equip smoke grenade from the graveyard and equip your OG air and using Captain Roland to pop the smoke grenade, look at your opponent's hand this time, and rip the best card from it. And you have Herald of the Arc Light, and then, you know, you're good. So, 
even just with and now if you have a nod you could do even more stuff so last combo hand loop time let's get okay it. guys now here's the part where we get to have fun because our opponent doesn't have any hand traps in their hand so how are you going to hand loop your opponent for their entire hand well all you need is connector and access to uh renaud that's basically it but you do need an additional extenders so you would say that's a three card combo but if you know you guys need a refresher this build is designed to consistently see four bodies so the extender part kind of isn't even something you should really take into consideration because you're just gonna have it so you know you're not and all that stuff so how are you gonna handle up your opponent let's have fun and find out summon connector connectors effects gonna activate you're gonna summon aqua dolphin and we just so happen to be going up against Dragon Link. It's it's nice. You know, Dragon Link, the mirror match. You know, whatever. You're going to have a fun time. You're going to discard your dolphin and look at your opponent's hand. You're going to be like, oh, combo versus combo. Good game. You know, you rip the first card. And you're going to drop your Flint Lady. You're going to get rid of everything except for the connector for obvious reasons. Make your Zold. Zold effects. You're going to search Gilligan Lancer because it's level 6. And you're going to use his old, and you're actually going to Foolish Burial two cards this time instead of one. You're specifically going to need to Foolish Phoenix Blade and Living Fossil. And you're going to summon your Six Samurai Gemba. This is the combo where Gemba is needed because, you know, you can't use TG Striker because we're, there is no Fire Warrior on the field, nor will they be for a minute. And you need the Living Fossil early, so this is the part where you're, the Renat is needed. You're going to tribute for connector for Aqua Dolphin. And uh, yeah, you're going to discard another card. And now you have a stronger card on the field to rip something that's a little bit beefy. So, second card's been ripped. Now we're going to drop Renaud. Uh, Renaud's effect is going to activate when it's summoned, adding Living Fossil. Now, we're going to synchro into TG Hyper Librarian. We're doing the combos before we even make Fiber and Aurora, and that's how great this combo is. We're gonna go and make our Link Cross two tokens. Like so. Uh, Synchro, since we're not as treated as a tumor monster, summon in a formula Synchron. The effect of TG is gonna be chain link one, obviously, and formula for chain link two. You're gonna draw two cards over here. Uh, now you're gonna synchro the formula and the token for a Martial Metal Marcher. And TG Hyper Librarian is gonna be chaining one again, chaining two, Marcher's effect. You could summon Gimba, or you can summon formula, but in this case we're gonna summon formula for synergy purposes. And we're gonna draw an additional card. This is the part where we're gonna activate Living Fossil. For Renaud, since it's the only level one you got, and this is banished, this is in the grave, I'll leave fossils in the grave, you're gonna synchro for three, and we're gonna go into our Tatsunoko. This is where we're gonna draw a fourth card for TG Hyper Librarian. And we're gonna synchro summon, it is not an activated effect, so it can't get gamma. So, we're gonna go into Charles, TG is going to draw us a fifth card. That's pretty good, already. Drawing five cards, we didn't even make Fiber, didn't even make a Roydon. But, we're going to start doing that stuff right now. Fiber's going to activate. Summoning our Plague Spreader Zombie. Okay. Uh, Sync Row for 7. We're done with the TG now. And Powerful Dragon. Wasn't it funny that before we made the TG combos after Fiber and Aurodon, but now we're doing it before? So, you know, we're going to add DDR to our hand. We already have 3, of course. And, of course, as per usual, as a reminder, since Power Tool is a machine with fiber, we can make a Roar Dot. It's appropriate in this step. Summon one, two, count them, three tokens. Alright. Now from here, we can top deck any of our cards that we drew. If we, Let's say we drew the Mecha Phantom Beast sooner. This is the part where we just top deck it. Uh, Plague Spreader is pretty nice. Not gonna lie. Uh, this is banished. Uh, this is gone. We make our Captain Roland. Activate the effect on the end phase, like Skarm. 
Now, the reason why you specifically need Phoenix Blade is because you are going to banish Aqua Dolphin. And we'll banish Zold, I guess. For Phoenix Blade. And activate the DDR, discarding the Phoenix Blade to summon the Dolphin back. Uh, now what we're going to do is use a Rorgon, tribute itself and a token to summon the Mecha Fan and Beast level 1 tuner. I just probably should have just put it in the hand just in case. Just, just as an example of how I would have drawn it. Synchro into Herald of the Arclight, so now you can hit monsters and they will get banished. But if you have all monsters and you don't want them to get banished, you can just, well, Phoenix Blade again. So, we're gonna do just that. Banish Gil Glancer and we'll, we'll banish Connector. You know, keep that Fire Flint or the Gimba for the Stolfo just in case you have juicier stuff in hand off your TG draws. Use your Dolphin Effect. Rip a third card. You target your Charles. You can rip anything at this point outside of Ultimate Conductor. Uh, now you're gonna Synchro for eight. Since Dolphin just so happens to be level three, summoning Cypher and Lord Omega. Mega is going to banish a fourth card, uh, like so, and uh, yeah, so where's the fifth card come from? Well, it comes in at the end phase, because we're going to use Captain Roland's effect, and we're going to Foolish Living Fossil, or not Living Fossil, Smoke Grenade, you're going to Foolish the Smoke Grenade, and of course you're going to add God Phoenix Gear Free, since in Simplified Game State, this is GG. And now you're going to use... Uh, Charles's effect, and you're going to equip Oliver from the deck, and Smoke Grenade. This, this whole time, we didn't even need Oliver, you know, in, at all in the combo. But, here it is now. Charles blows up Smoke Grenade, snipe the last card of your opponent's hand, everyone's having a good day, look at that. Your opponent has no cards in their hand, so even if they rip the best card in the game, and clear this board, and all that stuff, they have like Grave Synergy or something, you have a full ass hand and you have God Phoenix gear free. Yeah, GG no re. Have fun. Uh, so yeah, you can still hand loop your opponent for five cards, guys. So uh yeah. Alright guys, that is going to do it for me. Let me know in the thought let me know your thoughts in the comments down below regarding the combos I performed. Did they perform superb based on hey, I think they're pretty good for not using 001 and Colt Wayne. I think there's still like very high power ceiling combos out there. Also, you don't really need those cards, man. Like, minimize your bricks and still get the same results. Just play smart and all that good stuff. But, you know, again, uh, share this with Pack and, you know, Shoe Pings Labs. Share that with, you know, Jared. Share it with Aether Gaming. Share it with MSC.TV. Share it with all those folks so they can watch this and maybe give their kind of thoughts on it and all that stuff so anyway guys that is enough from me so with that being said guys thank you so much for watching be sure to like the video hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single upload from yours truly and with that, all that being said thank you so much for watching this is j money now yeah sorry